Hello everybody, it's Shauna L. Francis. It is October 17th, 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. I channel the Galactic Federation of Light in real time on these videos. <clears throat> We've been doing this daily now for a couple of months. It's been absolutely thrilling and exciting and a pathway of discovery here for all of us, myself included, as we go along this journey with the Galactic Federation of Light. They are putting out specific frequencies that are calling out to a specific subset of the population here on Earth. We are members of the Galactic Federation of Light, here to anchor love and light here on the planet as we ascend to the fifth dimension. Yeah, I know. I know that sounds crazy. That's okay, we're in it together. We're going with the flow, guys, right? We're just going with this. How can you deny love and light in this time of need here? How can you deny that? You can't. I mean, these are beautiful messages, beautiful messages, lots of loving support. The energy frequencies are palpable. You know, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of these roadblocks that are very prevalent, especially with women uh, around the world whom I'm meeting with on one -on, uh, for one-on-one -on -one sessions. Shame. Shame and guilt, big ones, big ones. And they could be for all kinds of reasons. And truly, this is a shadow. This is shadow. It is illusion. It is not truth. It is not truth. You know, this gets to the heart of what evolution means as you evolve as a soul. Certainly, at these higher frequencies that are coming into the planet right now, it would be easy to look back in your life, oh, when I was... 22 years old, I did this, I'm so, I feel so awful about it. Well, of course you've evolved, your vibration is higher, your consciousness is expanded. So it's not fair to you whatsoever to go back in time and say, I should have done that differently. I can't believe I did that, I feel so horrible about this. And I want you all to know that you did the absolute best you could at the time Knowing what you knew at that particular vibrational frequency, you did the best you can. Love that part of you who made a mistake, who tripped up, who did something that today's you wouldn't do. Rejoice in the learning that came from that experience. I truly believe that all suffering has a silver lining here. I mean, you women with this guilt, the, the guilt issues and the shame issues, you guys are survivors. And I'm a part of that too. We are survivors, we are goddess warriors. We have had to make extremely hard decisions from when we were children. When we were children, we are the nurturers. We take care of everybody else. We raise the children for the most part. We have fought to be heard and to be, to be able to speak our truth. You know, we have not always been honored. You know, these have been, these are tough lives many of us women have, and I would say men too, have lived. Um, but this is part of the evolution. It is completely futile and does not serve you one bit for you to sit in this place of a higher expanded consciousness and feel guilty about anything you've done in the past. These were learning experiences and you did the absolute best that you could at the time knowing what you knew. So give yourself a break. Love yourself unconditionally. Embrace all facets of who you are, everything you've endured, every challenge you've overcome, every obstacle you've faced. You've done it the best you could. So sh fear, shame, guilt, regret. Bring these to the surface. Are you ready to face that stuff head on? Bring it into the light. Bring it into the light where it can be integrated and you can forgive yourself finally and know that you did the best you could. Today's fear, shame, and guilt for something that happened in the past is they're simply shadows and they are not in alignment with your higher vibrational frequencies. Time to let that stuff go. A lot of you are holding on to these things and they are blocking your light. They're holding your back. They're holding you back. So I just want to 
bring that to the forefront for anybody out there who, where that resonates. Okay, so <clears throat> that's enough of my soapbox. Thank you for listening. Um, I have a couple of questions for the Galactic Federation of Light. It sounds like they wanted to um, actually do an introduction and then I imagine um, if we've got time, then I can ask a couple of questions that have come up from you, the viewers. All right, so I'll get quiet. With absolute love and affection, we come to you today through this transmission, through Shauna, through the cosmos, through the energetic frequencies, the airwaves. We are reaching out to you with our open hearts, to your open hearts, full of light, full of love, open to receive, ready to receive all the gifts, all the gifts that are available to humanity at this time. This, these are beautiful gifts. You get to unwrap them. You get to pull on the bow and the paper comes off. And then you have this beautiful gift that you get to claim as your own. Feel the delight of a child receiving such a precious gift just for you, just for you. So delight in this. Feel into this. Know that you are worthy of these gifts. Know that you are actually sending them to yourselves through us. You helped create this entire reality, everything that's going on with humanity, with you in this incarnation on this planet. You have orchestrated this. Your higher, soul, your higher self, your oversoul has brought you to this point where you get to sit back, relax, and accept the gifts that are coming your way. We're doing the heavy lifting here in many ways, but you are the one who is in control of your reality, in control of your energetic frequency, in control of your light and your love. Your choices, your choices are yours. You have free will. We would never impinge upon this free will. We would never take advantage of your ignorance or your innocence here. That is the way of the dark. The dark may be giving you gifts as well that you are unknowingly accepting. This is not how the light operates. The frequency of light and love is out in the open. There are nothing hidden here. Nothing is hidden in these gifts. This is all above board. It is all of the light, completely transparent and unconditional. You are something, part of something very special, something very grand, absolutely momentous, a time for celebration. You have raised your hand to come to earth at this time to be a light bringer to be a way shower, to be that beacon. My family, we've gathered you here. You have gathered yourselves here. We are just helping you to remember this. What does this mean on a day-to-day -day basis for you, moment by moment by moment? It means that you are relaxing into whatever's going on around you. It means that you are not worrying. You are not worrying about anything. What good does worry do you really? What does the frequency of worry get you? Is that productive? Does that bring down your energy frequency? 
Does that worry stop you from relaxing into the moment and being absolutely present in whatever's happening for you at any given moment? Does that worry have way more to do with the past and the future than what's happening to you right now? Does this worry have to do with imagined future events that aren't even real? Oh yes, the dark would love for you to be worried so much that you are stifled, you are immobilized in fear, you are feeling so vulnerable and out of control and at the mercy of others, how easy it is to succumb to these messages and to that frequency. Truly, the frequency of worry has been a good friend to many of you. It's how you have maneuvered this life from an ego standpoint, from your lower chakras, it keeps you not feeling whole. Worry keeps you from connecting with your truth. It stops you from living in the moment, embracing yourself, embracing the situation you've created for yourself from embodying love and light and sending it out unconditionally. What a relief it would be to not have any worries. We lift these burdens off your shoulders so that you can open your lungs, breathe in the fresh air, embrace yourselves, embrace these moments. Worry is keeping you out of the present moment and into most likely a perceived future that hasn't even occurred. And remember that we've already told you that your thoughts are very powerful. <clears throat> your thoughts, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> and the accompanying emotional frequencies. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> and the accompanying emotional frequencies that come with worry keeps you in the old fear paradigm. This is part of the illusion. It keeps you seeking comfort and safety. That is also an illusion. Predictability, conformity. How so many of you are worried about not conforming to the norm. But then you also are understanding that normal, there is no normal. There's not even going to be a new normal. There is just going to be now. There's going to be you living in the moment allowing your minds to be open to new possibilities, allowing your guides and your higher selves and your multidimensional selves to merge with you completely. That's not normal. What's the fun in normal? What has normal gotten you? Let's move into the exciting. Let's move into the new together. Let's be open to new frequencies that are going to bring us new experiences that are going to help our souls evolve and help us complete our, mes our missions. This is what we ask of you today. And with that, we'll open the floor for questions. <laughs> open the floor for questions. All right, that sounds great. Thank you guys. Wonderful. <laughs> Do we have ET technologies? here that are being suppressed by a few people here on earth 
who are keeping us enslaved? Um, are there really technologies out there or are, or have these technologies only existed, excuse me, on ET spaceships and other planets truly having never been shared here on Earth? We give you this guidance. These technologies have not only been shared with humanity on a wild, wide scale, they have been developed. Some of these technologies have de been developed fully. And actually some, hum hu some humans, some of humanity are actually using these technologies already. You just may not have recognized that these technologies came from an extraterrestrial or higher dimensional source. And we can give you some examples. Nuclear, nuclear conductivity. The use of plasma. electricity itself. Solar power. Harnessing the power of a flowing river to create electricity. The light bulb. Food dehydration. herbal medicine, energy healing, the meridian system, acupuncture, and these technologies exist here at a certain frequency being used at a certain frequency that works with your species evolution at this time. But in higher dimensional realities, imagine these technologies have grown, have gotten more advanced, and are used uh, the, in, in similar ways to what you're doing on Earth with these, but imagine the technology having advanced exponentially but the root of these technologies are basically the same. The concepts are basically intact and the same, but we have massive technology here that we are able to take these things to levels beyond your comprehension right now. So actually there is constantly a flow of ideas from your higher dimensional selves coming into your plane these things get translated and utilized and created at your current vibrational state. We would ask that you actually do not worry about the suppression of technologies. The time is coming where all these technologies will be at your fingertips. Your galactic families, your higher dimensional selves, we'll all be coming together to be serving humanity in this planet with everything of the light at our fingertips, ready to go. Do not be upset. Do not be angry. Do not feel jilted or stilted or confined to old technologies here as though you have been suppressed. That is not the right frequency, frequency here that we'd like you to embody. We'd instead ask that you be very excited for the coming disclosure of galactic, angelic frequencies, alchemy, technologies, we have such an amazing path of discovery together 
where your minds will be blown. They'll continue to be blown in what we have to offer and what's available to you. Technologies that you yourself have used in other incarnations. So just as a, as a human species, there's a lot you have taken advantage of and there's a lot that has benefited this planet and benefited humanity, benefited your animals and all of existence. Truly, these ideas and concepts are just more fluid than what you have known them to be, moving in and out of higher dimensional reality, back and forth in cycles. So yes, discovery, your discovery and what's to come and the technologies that are available to you, they will be made known to you. They will be made known to you when the timing is right. This is a time for rejoicing. You are ready for ascension. You are ready for these truths. You are ready for these new ways of being, these technologies, not just technology, but all kinds of things that are available that you can't comprehend right now. We are overjoyed and so excited that humanity is at a point right now where you are able to accept these things, take advantage of them, be operating from a higher dimensional frequency. All these doors are open. All these doors are open. And we thank you for the question. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, guys. I love that. All right, one more. I know we're going a little long, but we'll do one more here. All right, we talked about the lower chakras. Um, so the question here is, how do we break free of the binds of the lower chakras? So we've got the root, the solar plexus, and the, oh, the sacral and the solar plexus, right? So when you say that we are stuck in our lower chakras, can you give us some examples? And then also, how might we break free of this cycle? Life-changing, absolutely life-changing. When you are no longer bound by the frequencies of survival, this is what embodies your lower three, your lower three chakras. It's the frequencies of survival, it's instinct. These are very important chakras to your life here on earth. These are important frequencies so we would never deny the importance and the connectedness that those three chakras have in your world. They've kept you safe. They've kept you reproducing. They've kept you connected to this earth, to your bodies. But truly, we would sum this up as embodying survival, survival on all kinds of levels. So as you break free from the construct of survival and you begin to integrate those parts of yourselves with your upper chakras, and let's talk about those, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, your third eye chakra, and of course your crown, the upper chakras. Now you can just get a feel for the difference and the energetic frequencies and the purposes these chakras serve you in your world and in your existence, in your particular realities. So the beauty here as you evolve as a soul is the integration of the lower three chakras and even further chakras down with the upper four chakras so that you are feeling absolutely whole. You are operating from a place of love Survival is there when you need it. That need to survive, that flight or fight, you know, those instinctual ways that you maintain your lives and maintain your health. Like all this is very important, but you're not just stuck down there. You're not just st stuck with the sexual chakra here where you are just identifying with the physical sexual aspect of your chakras. But as you move up into the heart, there's that connectedness on a deeper level, on a soul level. You are able to speak your truth through your throat chakra. That root chakra who grounds you and keeps you planted here firmly on the earth, beautifully connected with the crown chakra, 
that is connected with all that is, with something larger than you, something bigger than just this ex existence here on this planet, your knowing. So when all these chakras are working together, it's a beautiful dance. It is a completion. It is you feeling whole and connected, not only grounded here on earth, but connected to a bigger source, to the all that is, to the prime creator, to you as an infinite soul of light, of love. The harmony here that this brings, it allows you to go with the flow, to not be in a state of fear and worry, to accept all the abundance this life has to offer. The power of all your chakras in balance. Your energy frequency humming along. Your light shining crisply and clearly, breaking through the illusion, busting through shadow, shining so brightly for others that it is truly a beacon this is the integration of all your chakras and everything they represent for you. And we hope this answers your question. Beautiful. I love that. Thank you so much. All right, my lovely team here, Galactic Federation of Light, is there anything else that you'd like to add or say before we wrap this up? You are love. You are absolute love every single one of you. There is no part of you that is not worthy of love. There's nothing that you've done, nothing that you've said, nothing that you've thought that is not worthy of love. We love you unconditionally. How could we not? You are a part of who we are. We do not shun you. We embrace you. We love you. We know you, we are you, and you are us. So allow this melding to occur. Allow these frequencies to coalesce. Be open to receive these gifts. You have earned them. You have asked for them. In fact, you have sent them to yourselves. <laughs> so accept them freely and openly, knowing that this is your oversoul taking care of you right now. You're a beautiful being of light. This is why you are here. Accept these gifts. Choose love. And just be. And with this infinite love, we leave you for today. Thank you, my team, our team. Thank you, Army of Light here on Earth for everything you're doing, for all your love support, for focusing on you and showing up for you. I love you all. Thank you, Galactic Federation of Light.